All right, we're gonna merge two data sets in Python using the Pandas module, which is a data management and analysis tool. It's super popular in Python and it's uh, very useful. So I have two Excel data sets right here. One here, two here, and we're gonna link them by their employee ID. So you can see this would correspond to this right here. So what we wanna do is open Python and the easiest way to do this, and there are much more sophisticated, perhaps better ways to do this, but um, what we're gonna do is just save it in the same folder as the data sets, just for simplicity. So this I'm gonna save first in that folder. Okay. And then we want to import pandas, and in case we don't have it, we want to just type in cmd here if you're using Windows. Pip install pandas. You can see I already have it. I'm going to leave this though because um, we might need this later. All right, let's go ahead and import that first data set. And remember with Python, it is case sensitive. And if we were doing a CSV, we would just put CSV right here instead of Excel. Same for text files, JSON, and so on. I'm going to put left here for a reason that I will explain soon. We're going to make our first data frame. For simplicity, I'm going to copy and paste this for the second one. Just make sure you turn all the ones to two. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Weird stuff will happen. I'm going to change this to right. Now we're going to merge it. So this is DF1, this one here. DF2. And maybe it'd be easy to uh, look at these again. So this here is that, this here is that, and we're gonna put them together by this ID. Okay, that's what this on thing is right here. So what are we doing it on? We're doing it on employee ID. All right, so we've done all this. Let's go ahead and export it. And you can do it to any format you want. I'm just gonna do it to Excel. Just call it merge results. Let's go ahead and run it. Oh, okay. See, this is why I did an Excel uh, tutorial with this, because we need something called open pixel. So all we gotta do is just go back to pip. Yeah, that was quick. All right, now let's try to rerun it. There, it worked. Let's go ahead and look at it. There we go, you see that it merged all the ones that it have in common, so one through four. But you'll notice that here there's five. So you can do different types of joins. You can do like left joins and right joins and it gets much more sophisticated than that. It's just like in SQL. So I'll do a, a left join, and then I'll do a right join just to show you how that works. And you can play around with it if you want. So let's go back to our code. And what we can do here is how, and this here is the left, and here's the right. So we'll make sure that all five here show up. Um, and to the extent that it has everything in common, it'll do one through four, but um, five will just have this information. It won't, obviously it won't have any of that. So let's go ahead and say left. Make sure I close this merge results or you get an error. And let's see. Okay, now let's look at it. Okay. So you can see that 
everything that it had in common it merged and what it didn't it's uh, it kept from this one our left one here okay you can see so there's no location or anything so let's try to do it the other way all right let's go back this time we'll put in right make sure I close that I did let's go ahead and run it Now you see it in the other context with uh, this, the right join, the right focus. So that's pretty much how you do this. There are much more types of joins you can do, and uh, you know a quick Google search will show you that, or you can look at the official documentation of pandas, which I can put in the uh, video description. But anyway, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you could like or subscribe, it would help support the channel and allow me to do more of this in the future. Thanks again.